Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Cream, and we're working on page eight of Tour, and we're gonna have two panels. It's gonna be like page one. So you're gonna start with um, two panels that are, I gotta think about this for a second, um, seven, seven, I'm sorry, seven by eight, seven by eight. Then you're gonna score a half inch on the seven inch side. Then you're gonna put a tick mark after you fold it under at three. And then you're gonna come down to the point and this should be at six. So if you started with six and a half, six and a half by eight, then you would just come down to the point. But either way, basically when you have your finished panel should be three inches here and six inches across the bottom. So you're gonna cut on that diagonal and you're gonna do that two times, one for the left and one for the right. And if you do them exactly the same, all you have to do is um, adjust your hinge, whether or not it's on the top or the bottom. So make two of those and one's gonna go on the left and one's gonna go on the right. And we're gonna put the small part on uh, the top of the left hand side. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, looks like I'm ready to go here. Got some tape on here. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> this way. All right. And then we're going to install, oops, I forgot my tape. This one on the right-hand side. And then as, as with all the other pages, additional photo mats will be added after we put the designer paper on top of these two flaps. So there will be some more um, uh, cardstock, uh, base cardstock used, but I'm not gonna cut it right this minute. I'm gonna decorate these. Then I'm gonna come back and add um, photo mounts with a black cardstock and decorate some more. Like I said, they're gonna get layered on top. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see my dog's nose sneaking in here, but she's uh, flicking my elbow because it is time to go for the W-A-L-K. So I'm gonna lay down this panel and just go take care of that. <laughs> she knows now that if she comes in here and sticks her nose between the desk and my elbow and flicks it, that I can't hold my hand steady. She's clever, but it's good because I need to get up and uh, do some exercise, get some fresh air. Okay, there we go. There's page eight. Okay, I'll be back soon after the WALK and we'll start decorating this. Okay, back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne and we're working on page eight, page eight of Couture. And um, I'm using 12 by 12 patterns here. And this is what I've chosen, and I like it. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you recall, this is actually like page one, although page two, three, four, five, and six are all different, slightly different. So this is the only duplicate that we have. Um, so if you recall from page one, we're gonna get our designer papers down, and then we're gonna add um, some photo mats um, to these panels. But first, we're going to decorate them. Okay, lovely, lovely. Now on page one, I had um, uh, a piece that was cut just like this that was gonna be hidden behind this panel, but I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. 
So let's go ahead and add, this is again from the 12 by 12 collection pack, this. And I cut this uh, from the 12 by 12. You'll have enough to cover both flaps. Okay, there we go. So this is what was left. Um, after I cut these two pieces, I had this left over. Of course, I have another strip that's 12 by, by four. Um, and it, I'm gonna go ahead and continue my pattern here. Now, what I'm checking is to make sure that none of the pattern is actually peeking out and it's not. And as you can see, it's a continuation of the pattern. And so what I did is I actually measured and trimmed this one first, then brought it over here and measured and trimmed this, and then I had this piece left over. There we go. It didn't, didn't look like anything was going down. Hmm. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of glue. Okay, so I still need to cover this, and I'm kind of going back and forth. <laughs> I like this with it, but that's a little bit too monotone, so I think I'm going to pull this in. So what I want to do real quick is see how I like. See, it's got the diamond pattern here and here. So oh, oh, I'm going back and forth. I'm going to trim it and see how I like it. It's hard to look at this full sheet by itself. And I'm going to do some embellishing on the inside that's going to soften that. So I'm going to trim this down and close both flaps and see how I like how I like it. So this is what it'll look like in the closed position. Now this is going to have a five by seven um, photo mat here and some embellishments here. Actually, is that right? Yeah. That's right, so, ha, 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 ha. I don't know. What do you guys think? It seems a little too busy. So let's try this. I like that better. This was just too hard to look at. So I'm gonna trim out this. Actually, it's gonna be a little bit too shy, so I'm gonna go look for my, oh, you know what? I already used my 12 by 12 on this. So I gotta get creative. I want to use this pattern, but it's not quite wide enough. What am I shy? I'm shy about just a little more than an eighth of an inch. That's too much, too much. So let me see. Might have to change my tune again. What's the flip side of the shoes? That's too much. Oh. I think I, how about this? What do we think of that? Uh, I don't think that's gonna look very good behind it. It needs to be, it needs to be a pattern. So here is another option. If we butt it all the way up against this side and we have a little gap, maybe I can do a border strip here. 
So let me see what I have on my stickers. Let's see if I've got a sticker that can go there. Not on that one. Yes, I do. I have this ooh la la. So let's take a look at that. And of course I could just do a strip of red paper here too. Now what I want to know is what's it going to look like come on the other side of the flap. Let's take a look. It's just barely peeking out right there. So the other option is to put the strip on this side. Well, I don't know if I like that. I think it just disappears over here. I don't like it there. What do you guys think? I don't know, but I definitely want to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. Seven and seven eighths. And I think I'm going to put the strip on the other side. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue because these stickers don't stay down <laughs> for whatever reason. And I'll trim it after I, after I put it down. We got a little bit of sticker left. Put that over here. Might be able to use that someplace else. Okay, now we'll turn this down to fit. And now it looks like I need to take off just a sliver. Actually, I had it going the wrong way. should do it. Yes, everything's looking good. Let's make sure this will close. Let's get it inked and lay down. Yeah, I like that. I think that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Sorry, I got my um, computer on and it keeps waking up on me. There we go. It's changing my lighting. Oh, I love this pattern. Time covering it up. All right. There we go. Okay, so two things we're going to add. We're going to add uh, a, a finished um, five by seven card. So you're going to start with a ten by seven, 
You're going to score it five inches and then you're going to do another one which is going to be a finished four by six. So you're going to start with eight by six. You're going to score at four inches on the eight inch side and voila. So you're going to start with an eight by six, score at four. So you've got your four by six card and your five by seven which is going to go on the top. This is going to go on the inside and this is gonna go on the top. And I'd like to tuck that second um, four by six in. Um, now on page one, I, I put it in this way. So when you open the flap, it kind of opens for you. I don't know if I like that or not. It, it's really just a choice. To be consistent, I think I'm gonna do this one the same, but you could, if you wanted, put it in this way so that when you open the flap, then you would open this again and it would extend it as opposed to opening it over onto this section of the book. So do you want to open it away from the center or toward the center? So I don't know why I go back and forth. Um, and it's actually going to get attached to uh, this panel. Okay, so it'll go like that. <clears throat> this one will be attached to the, to the top panel and the card will open up. Okay, so Oh, you know what I forgot? You guys probably, I did it right on page one and I forgot here, there, there needs to be a magnet here. So we're gonna have to put an embellishment down there with a magnet underneath it to hide it. And that's gonna be a simple thing to do. I think I might just do a circle punch and have it uh, partially exposed. If I bring back in page one, you'll see I did some of these circles uh, just as embellishments, but I may use one specifically to hide a magnet. But. Either way, we'll get it. We'll get it solved. So that's what's next. So I'm going to pick my papers uh, for both the cards, and get my magnet situation figured out. And then when I come back, um, when we get back together, we'll finish this up. And thanks everybody for tuning in. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Please take a moment to like, share, subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. So we don't ask much, um, but if you could do that, it really goes a long way for us and having uh, YouTube recommend us to other. Uh, crafters. So we, we appreciate it very, very much if you take those few minutes to do that. Be back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I've got a couple more of my papers picked out. And as you recall, I put this down before I put a magnet. So this is my solution. I've got a circle that I punched. Here's my magnet. I'm going to place it here and I'm going to cover it with this sticker. And oops, it was already sticking. <coughs> And then we'll figure out the rest. I'm going to ink the edge of this because it looks a little <coughs> bright. <clears throat> and I'm going to put a little glue because sometimes the stickers want to let go, especially on the edges. Okay, so that's going to go on this side. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then we are going to place a magnet on the back of this card. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and lay the card down. So this is what I'm going to put on the cover. I need to put a piece on the back, and I think I've got something trimmed out over here. Yeah. <clears throat> this is from the 8x8 collection pack. I don't need to cover the whole thing, only what's going to overlay <clears throat> or lay past the flap. Some of you may have noticed I got a new craft mat. I'm trying to be better about <clears throat> keeping it clean. My other one just got torn up from uh, cutting through it. 
Okay, so that's going to go in here. And we can, we'll attach that in a few minutes. <clears throat> so that looks good. I'm going to draw in the corner. You can either do the top or the bottom, and then I know if I've got my corner in right, pretty much everything else is okay. And I'm also going to use um, Okay, it's straight. Basically, I was using the bottom line of Scrap and Create to make sure that it was going in straight, and it is. So I am good to go. I know I need to come in two inches from the top. And four inches. One, two, three, four on the bottom. <clears throat> <clears throat> yep, and then that's my diagonal. <clears throat> Sorry, my dog is driving me nuts today. I'm going to put something underneath here just in case. I don't want my glue squishing out. <clears throat> but I do need to see. It's almost time to take Nala, so sorry for all the whining. Okay. That looks beautiful. Oh, you know what? I did it again. I put this on before I located my magnet. Oh my gosh. Tell you guys, I don't know what's going on with me. So we're gonna put that here. I should have put a magnet underneath this. In fact, it's probably still wet enough I can get under it. I think it's when Nala starts to distract me. That's who I'm gonna blame it on anyway. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can't get under here real quick. <clears throat> Okay, that's going to do it. Stick my magnet in there. And I'm going to push it in there a little bit further and then we're going to glue that whole thing down. Again, if you don't have a palette, uh, a paint painter's palette knife, you should get one. It really makes a huge difference. Most of the weeding tools are not as flat. Um, so it's a little harder to get under your paper without tearing it, or near impossible, actually. And these are super thin. <clears throat> Hold that all down, burnish it, and now we can locate the magnet on the other side. So that's easy enough. Just need to make sure we've got our word going right side up. And we can see... I didn't put enough glue under it because it's wanting to lift up again. So let's do that, let it dry for a second, and then we'll try that one more time. <clears throat> What's the thing about these stickers? They're really not that sticky, um, which is good and bad because you can peel them off your designer paper without damaging it. Did you want to? Did you want to put your nose up here and share with everybody? No. Okay. <laughs> She's got this thing where she puts her nose underneath my elbow and disrupts me. She knows that makes me stop. Okay, put some glue on here. Last chance to make sure it's right side up. Okay, that looks good. Okay, 
So there we are. I've got our magnet hidden under that um, sticker and then I made the mistake here and I just tucked it under. Can't even tell that I did that. There's a slight wrinkle, but because it's on a pattern paper, it's very forgiving. Okay, and then this is the um, pattern that I chose here. I wanted something that was relatively monochromatic so I could um, do some embellishing here and there's already a lot of color here. I guess it's not really monochromatic. It's got more of a contrast, but it's a limited number of colors in the palette. <clears throat> Good night now. Keep getting glue all over everything. All right. Okay, we're making progress. I'll take a break here and take care of my dog. I'll be back in a little bit and we will continue decorating the inside. And then we still have, um, I mislaid it, a four by six card to go here. Here it is. So this is gonna uh, get laid in here. So we'll need to decorate that as well. So I'll be back shortly and we'll continue working on page eight. Okay, back soon. Hello everyone, I'm back and we're gonna finish decorating page eight. Okay, so I am gonna pull this pattern back in. This is actually from the 12 by 12, so it was a piece that I had um, laying around. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna use um, this pattern and this is from the eight by eight. We're gonna cover the inside of the top card, okay? So I'm gonna start by laying in the smaller of the two pieces, and then I'll trim uh, these orange pieces to fit. So, be just a second. And we'll have this done, and then we'll do um, the six, four by six, and uh, get it actually installed in the album as well. So, I don't know if I, I mentioned it earlier, but um, for the five by seven card, <clears throat> You're gonna start with a 10 by seven and you're gonna score at five inches on the 10 inch side. You know what, I made a mistake, I just realized it. But I'm just gonna add another magnet. <laughs> I'm having a, a hard time with my magnets today, sorry about that guys. I put my magnet here, it should be up here. Um, but I'm not gonna take it out of there because I had so much trouble getting it in, so sorry about that guys. Um, the magnet actually goes, no wonder I went ahead and covered the back, that was correct. The magnet goes up here because I want something to hold this closed. So I'm just gonna add another magnet right now, and it's gonna go up here. I try not to do that um, for a couple of reasons. It adds bulk, but also magnets are kind of expensive, so I don't like to, to double them up, or, or in this case, I'm gonna use a total of three instead of, and that's too big. Yeah, it's gonna overlap. Um, instead of just one, so I'm just gonna trim down. Oops, trim down my tape. Oops, it goes that way. All right. It was just dumb, dumb, dumb. Now, 
Let's go ahead and put this in. Oh, I made these too small. Hmm, I'm gonna have to trim another piece. Oh, this one's right. Oh, I see, these are not equal sizes. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. I hope I have another piece of this. I might have to change my plans. I'm sure I have another piece. So I'm gonna stick with this design. Um, that was just really, I should have trimmed this to fit when it was in one whole piece. So I'm thinking about possibly putting a ribbon of something in between. Oh well, I shall figure it out right now. Let's go ahead and get this piece in. Sometimes it doesn't behave right when you're going over a magnet because it's got a little bubble to get over. Oh, that looks good. Let's ink it. ribbon to run through there which I kind of like the idea of a ribbon but the problem is there's no solids in the uh, DCEs there everything is a pattern like a solid strip would look good but I don't think I have let's look at our stickers let's see if we've got a sticker option no so the only sticker option is this and that's just too too much too much pattern Arthritis is killing me today. All right, well, I'm going to get another 8x8 eight eight and trim it out. There we go. <clears throat> very strong magnet now. It's trying to lay it flat. It, it was over the magnet so it was not going down flat. Okay, and that's where our other magnet is. Now we're ready to go ahead and decorate the 
a four by six. So I am going to install it on this side. Is that right? Yeah. So this is gonna be decorated. This is from the eight by eight pack. And as you can see, I'm pulling this pattern back in. Okay. Now it's gonna be installed like so, so a little bit's gonna stick out on this corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it now. kind of like it peeking out so I think I'm gonna do that last time I I covered it but this time I think I'll leave it out so I kind of like that so I'm gonna look on my edge here make sure it's straight then I'm gonna add my glue and then I'll close this flap so let me get my Tim Holtz which I moved so it's on my desktop somewhere and I don't see it Oh no, it's on the floor, that's why. Okay, I got it now. that okay so we now need to decorate the inside and what did I do I've already got it trimmed out I oh here it is that's the flip side. So this is gonna go like so. <clears throat> this is from the 12 by 12. So that those are all the main components. So the next thing is we're going to spend a little time embellishing this. And yeah, I like it. There we go. Be back soon, you guys. 
Okay, let's go ahead and finish up. I've got um, the things I want to embellish this with. So I cut, I just hand cut a couple of triangles. Um, this was a little scrap that I had left over. And this is an ephemera card that I backed with cardstock. And so I just wanted to put this black cardstock here to show you that, you know, you could easily put um, a four by three and a half photo right here. So when I go to put these triangles down, I'm gonna make sure that I leave the ends open so that you can slide a photo in there if you so desire. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place my ephemera card. <clears throat> Uh, I think they call these journaling cards now. <laughs> Graphic changed the names of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this down so that there is an equal border, top, bottom, and side. And that looks about right. Okay, and then I am gonna go ahead and lay this down just as a reference so that when I go to put my triangles in, I'm kind of looking at where they're gonna land on the photo. I can't remember if I did the little one on the bottom and the big one on the top. I forgot. Let's do it the other way around. Let's do the little on top and the big one on the bottom. Let's see if I like that better. And then of course this is the, I like this. Okay, and I'll tell you why. So I like the way that my triangle is following the line here on the flap and same for this side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them down right here. And I'm not going to leave my black card stuck in there. That was just there as a reference point. <clears throat> okay, and then I have this little tab here. <clears throat> And I'm just gonna glue it to the triangle, leave it open-ended again so that you can easily slide a photo in there. Okay. A little crooked. Go this way, actually. Ta-da! So I think that turned out nice. Now on the inside, I'm going to lay down this frame somewhere I haven't decided where yet so basically I took one of my um, larger journaling cards and cut the frame out of it and I'm gonna lay it here in the inside somewhere but I don't know where yet <sighs> I kind of like it there but it's too close to this so this is kind of fun What do you guys think? And then we still have a lot of room here for photos. You could do um, three by fours, four of those, or you could do five by seven and four by six. So you got a lot of different choices here. I'm kind of going back and forth. I'm gonna actually hold off on that. And I just remembered I wanted to do some more embellishing on the cover. So I'm also going to add a couple of elements on this side to to pull in the red and just to be a little bit more fun and not so blank over here. Okay, I like that. Now, I still feel like it needs a little something here. So, let's see. Is that is that the something we need? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I need something tan. So, I'm going to try to find, yeah, a piece And I'm gonna cut this at one and a half inches and let's see how that looks. In fact, I kinda of like the bling. Let's see if we can get it in the circle. Yeah, bling, ooh la la. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Is that gonna work for us? I think so. I think I like it. So I am gonna ink this and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it on black cardstock and then I'm gonna put those three things together. And I really like the way the triangles look. I'm probably gonna incorporate some more of those uh, throughout 
the um, the rest of the album. Ooh, I have this tag too. What do you guys think? <laughs> I can mess around with embellishments for hours. Nope, doesn't work for me. Okay, I'm gonna put some black cardstock on this. Just looking for a small scrap. That'll do. I'm gonna trace it with my embossing tool. And then I'm gonna use my curved scissors, which are just nail trimmers that have been repurposed. I need to clean my glasses because I can tell I can't, I can't see the embossing line. what I'm gonna do. Now we're going to glue the whole thing down. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you guys like it. That's the end of page eight. I'm probably going to do some more embellishing on the inside, but I'll show that to you in the walkthrough. Okay, that's it for page eight.